The battle over ownership of a West Highland Terrier now has the district attorney's office involved. Someone found Jim Martin's lost dog, Olaf, and scanned the microchip leading him to the place where Martin rescued the dog, Lone Star Westie Rescue. But now that rescue is saying they won't give the dog back due to health concerns. Courtney Freeman brings us both sides of the story and shows us the document that's in the middle of the argument. Well, he's, he's my, one of my children in many ways. 80-year-old veteran Jim Martin lives alone in his San Antonio house with his dog Olaf, adopted four years ago from Lone Star Westie Rescue in Carrollton near Fort Worth. Feisty, you know, just full of life, lots of fun, and uh, a little too curious sometimes. July 20th, Olaf got out of the house and when found, his microchip led back to the Westie rescue. Staff said a foster volunteer took these pictures when they picked Olaf up. Concerned with his health, they took him to a vet. He was flea infested. Um, he's underweight. He had an eye infection with goop in his eye. His ear was so infected, the canal was almost all the way closed. In this letter from Martin's veterinarian, Dr. Larry Wood calls Jim a model pet caregiver, saying, quote, although Olaf has had a few chronic and ongoing health issues, he receives yearly checkups and necessary vaccinations, end quote. But today over the phone, Westy Rescue President Elizabeth Escobar told me she won't be returning Olaf, showing this contract Martin signed when he adopted the dog. It says LSWR may reclaim the adopted animal without notice if they believe the owner is not keeping the dog in good health. The Bear County District Attorney's Chief Criminal Investigator, Willie Ning, is now determining if a crime was committed. There's a lot of stuff that we need to see, but right now, just what we're receiving verbally, it looks like this is more of a civil issue than it is a criminal. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News. If it's a civil issue, the justice system will decide if the agency's contract allows him to keep Olaf. Now, local philanthropist Kim Rapier has offered to pay for Jim Martin's attorney. Escobar says Olaf is safe for the foster volunteer, but because of threats to the agency, she's not listing a location.